All right, so unless you've been living under an actual rock, you'll probably have heard that Ludwig has become the most subscribed to streamer in Twitch history, knocking Ninja off the top spot that he'd held since 2018. And he did it by streaming his entire life for a month. Every meal, every workout, every second, including sleeping and showering for 716 hours straight. We gotta talk about what happened, because not only was it record breaking, but at times it was fantastically insane. All right, just before we jump into the story, I'm gonna remind you guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to The Score Esports. We are on the road to two million subscribers and you can help us get there. All right, so let's quickly run down who Ludwig is before we talk about the month that cemented him in the Twitch Hall of Fame with the most subs of all time. The 25-year-old from New Hampshire first made a name for himself in the Smash Bros scene, even appearing at EVO 2017 and doing some commentary. On Twitch, he grew his stream by smashing various Mario Party world records in speedrunning or simply button mashing. Three quarters. One more is all we needed from last time's attempt. Yeah! And that's the fastest masher in the world. He was likable, fun, different, and had a growing cult following that would follow him to the variety of different games he played. More recently, he's rubbed shoulders with some big Twitch names while playing trendy games like Among Us or Chess, even with Hikaru himself. I would say in general terms of the streamers I've seen, you are one of the top tier ones that I've seen by far. Because the games you played, like this game, there's, I mean, the moves you played in the, the first First 15 moves, I mean, I could not have played better myself, honestly. It was, it was you're, picture perfect. That's too much. What are you, if you're no, telling no, I'm, I'm actually, no, I'm not box. joking. March 14th is the day our story really begins, though. The day Ludwig decided to do a subathon. Subs, add 20 seconds for every sub. Tier 2, 40 seconds. Tier 3, 100 seconds. Bits, it's equivalent. 500 bits is 20 seconds, so on and so forth. The idea was simple. Ludwig would continue to stay live on Twitch until the clock hit zero. Every time someone subscribed, the time would increase by 20 seconds. And it was uncapped, meaning as long as the subs kept coming, he would keep streaming. The clock time increased quickly and Ludwig went to sleep on his first night in his now infamous car bed with 19 hours remaining. Naturally, he thought he'd wake up with less time on the clock than before, but the donations and viewers kept pouring in, propelling Ludwig to the most watched streamer on Twitch while he slept. It's through! He's the most watched channel on Twitch! Oh my god! We did it! We got a sleeping man oh to the top God. most watched channel on Twitch. Here. We did it. Let's go. And then he woke up to find that the time hadn't gone down. He now had 26 and a half hours on the clock. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. It's okay. Let me go back to bed. Go back to bed. And as the stream gained more attention, the timer just kept going up. Some people began to question Ludwig's motivations for the stream and whether people should even be donating to him. As the clock approached 60 hours, Ludwig addressed those concerns and also why he started the whole subathon in the first place. I think if I don't go live for 11 days and I'm like gonna feel sad because my sub count's lower because I've tied some of my value to a number on a screen that I wanna do a subathon to counteract that, that's pretty normal. Obviously I didn't plan for this, as the days rolled on, Ludwig did literally everything on stream. He played games, he watched YouTube and movies with his viewers, he cooked for them, had his hair cut by his girlfriend, he slept in front of his chat while his mods talked, he even showered in front of them. Isn't Twitch f***ing weird? The stream was intimate. Even if he was just sleeping, it felt like a sleepover with thousands of people watching the clips, chatting about the stream, waiting for Ludwig to wake up. Other streamers have done subathons in the past and streamed every moment of their lives, while streamers like Asian Andy pioneered the growing sleep stream format. We missed out on the best part, by the way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So it's not like Ludwig reinvented the wheel here, he just put a big shiny rim on it. Even the New York Times picked up on the story. Now could another streamer have had as much success with their subathon? Possibly, but watching Ludwig over the weeks, it's clear that his charm and his humor played a massive part in all of this. I think if I push it back in and maybe use the device, it might like go through a cycle. I didn't think about that. After weeks of constant live streaming, Ludwig was leaping up the most subscribed chart. Only XQC's monstrous GTA streams seemed to offer any real competition. This guy did 100 back to back weeks. Are you serious? How am I supposed to get number one for one fucking week with this psychopath out here? What is he doing? Got no life, got nothing to do, just goes live for 12, 15, 18 hours a day. Get a hobby. By now, Ludwig had brought the time down from 20 to 10 seconds for a sub and also banned anyone who tried to gift more than 100 subs. My problem, people are spending too much money and it's, it's a bit uncomfortable. I want to curb the amount of money spent at a 100 gift sub count. But Ludwig would eventually be there for a lot longer than seven days. In fact, he wasn't even halfway through yet. As the subs poured in, he realized there needed to be some sort of absolute hard limit put on the stream's length. And for him, that was 31 days. The 31 day cap is in place. Uh, it's it's not really a cap. It's more so that I said multiple times if I hit 31 days, I would break Ninja's record for the most subs ever all time on Twitch. And if I ever hit that record, then I, I mean, like, I don't, I don't see it, you know, it, it could just repeat, I guess, but I, I don't care to do that. So now we had a definite end point, but it could still have ended before that if the clock hit zero. And it came very close at one point, reaching just four seconds remaining before being saved. Now, while all this was going on, people began to discuss just how much money was Ludwig making from this stream. After a little under two weeks live, he pulled up a spreadsheet to calculate his earnings up to that point, which resulted in an estimated total of $470,000. But Ludwig showed that after charity, taxes, and paying his mods, he'd only see a fraction of that. I said I would donate a dollar for every single subscriber I had. I have received about 80,000 subscribers, which means after including charity, I got $3,000. At one point, the clock even got to one second before chat decided to make sure the record would be broken. But the finish line was now in sight. Ludwig announced he would be ending the stream on April 13th if the clock hadn't hit zero by that point, and also upping his charity donations to $5 per sub. And just as Ludwig predicted, on April 13th, he finally surpassed Ninja's long-held record as the most subscribed streamer on Twitch. He even called the real Ninja himself to share the news. Definitely the real Ninja. I just broke your record. The f*** you say to me, you little shit! No, I, I just, I just, <laughs> I just broke your... <laughs> I, no, I, I'm not saying I'm big time, it's not like I'm... I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm just saying that I just broke the record. I'm Tell just... my brother, Leonardo, you're trash, kid. Okay. Ludwig's number is still fluctuating, but he tweeted out soon after to show the world that he'd surpassed Ninja's record of 269,154 subs. It can't be understated just how big of an achievement this really was. Ninja had held the record since 2018 and achieved it from some insanely big streams playing Fortnite with the likes of Drake and Travis Scott. And a lot of people thought, well, that must be the way to do it. If you want to get to the absolute top of Twitch, you've got to play games with massive celebrities or, you know, 
floss dance in Times Square. I'm not sure how many of you guys remember that era, but Fortnite felt like it was the biggest thing on planet Earth and Ninja wasn't too far behind that. The record felt insurmountable. And then Ludwig comes along years later and breaks the record by doing the most normal things that his viewers also do. He ate, he slept, he played games. And this appeal to a more casual kind of stream is reflected in the massive growth of the Just Chatting category on Twitch. Just Chatting has dominated Twitch over the last two years, a platform which was specifically created to cater to the gaming community. And Ludwig's subathon could not represent Just Chatting more. It was like Just Chatting on steroids, chilling out, eating and sleeping on stream, except for an entire month. But those things in themselves aren't unique. It was the unique nature of the subathon that captivated viewers. People felt invested in this spectacle of perpetual normality and the excitement of reaching a goal with him, the most subscribed to channel on Twitch of all time. And this sense of real involvement was seen most clearly when Ludwig's viewers seemed to split into two different groups, those who wanted to free Ludwig and those who just wanted the stream to never end. But it had to end at some point. Ludwig knew that more than anyone. And so, after celebrating his new position at the top of Twitch in front of almost a quarter of a million viewers, the timer finally hit zero. And there was no stopping it this time. What's next? What do you do after that? Well, Ludwig has categorically said that he is never doing a subathon ever again, and you can't blame him. And the reason I would never do one again is very simple. And it's the reason why you shouldn't make a sequel to the movie The Hangover. It'll never be as good as the original. How the f am I going to top something that happened like magically out of the blue for a planned 24 hour stream that ended up going a month breaking records and also getting New York Times articles by just saying I'm going to do the same thing again. Bad. Ludwig wasn't a small streamer before this by any means, but now he cemented himself as one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. Like, ever. As for how much money he made, only Ludwig really knows, but his mods walked away with some cash, one of them sharing that the money had allowed them to pay off their credit card debt completely. How long will he hold the record for? Who knows? But for now, Ludwig has got what he wanted. He's number one. He pulled off an insane month-long subathon, and now he's just finally happy to call it a day. This is what the end of the subathon was supposed to look like, but I faded it to black because I was on the verge of tears because I was so emotional, so overwhelmed with emotion. Uh, I don't get too mushy in this bitch, but I think I was just emotional because uh, it, was, it was a goal achieved. It was a goal achieved. That was exciting. It was exciting to achieve a goal I've been working towards as well as um, understanding that this will one day go away. And that makes me sad when I think about that. Because I like it so much. I like it so much. I love streaming so much that when one day I won't stream, I will be sad. Uh, but that's okay. I can enjoy it for what it is now. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a 30, 31 day subathon. But it's basically, um, I'm going to keep working. Just, just working on the channel um, like normal. So it's just going to be a webcam of watching me typing. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be me talking about other streamers and their streams. Um, you know, and then lots of lots of, ex you know, exciting content of me unplugging microphones, plugging in cameras, getting frustrated with cables. What a stream. I'm boring myself just talking about it. <laughs> Let, let's, get in, let's, let's get into it. Let's get into this shit, guys. Like, like all you guys do so cool. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, the fantastical Mr. Ludwig. <laughs> For fuck's sake.